and uh, thank you odisha ai for giving me this opportunity for uh, giving the presentation and mr dr sujit kumar konda professor department of computer science gandhi institute for technology and a uh, lot of discussion today will be going on generative ai and uh, all ai technologies of the recent times and my topic what is given to me is uh, inner working of the transformer so transformers are now the buzzword since last 4 to 5 years they are the <clears throat> they, uh, that is the most important technology behind the neural network and all ai application that you see nowadays including chat uh, gpt uh, brat uh, doll e they are powerful type of architecture that has revolutionized the total ai field so to start with uh, the uh, lecture we will be going through what is gen uh, ai gen ai everybody knows that and gen ai uh, models are trained on uh, vast amount of data enabling them to understand the patterns relationship and styles once the models are trained these models can generate a new content and that can generate again uh, original outputs then uh, gen ai is constantly evolving with uh, time it is now it's in uh, child age we can say that and a lot of innovation and a lot of new technologies will be embedded into that and it will grow in exponential way and with uh, new techniques and models being developed to improve uh, its uh, capabilities and then what is the relationship between the gen ai and the transformers transformer is the technology that is run behind the generative ai <clears throat> And the, the relationship uh, is like that uh, the technology is uh, behind uh, gen ai which has revolutionized the, the total tax the generative ai is uh, doing and generally it is more applicable in the large language models and uh, new content creation and the creation nowadays we are using generative ai to create the content it can write a poem for you it can tell a story for you and um, whatever you ask you can it, it can give you and uh, the technology that runs behind all these things is the uh, transformers so we'll go to a brief history of uh, transformers generally started in 2007 in the google people the researchers at google started this you know, technology at the 2007 the bot transformer uh, the bot uh, transformers uh, and uh, the transformer is being used in uh, different fields the multilingual transformer then the transformer has been modified it is used in the text processing and the generative uh, transformers and it is having a huge applications also for the non text application uh, transformers like you can use the one uh, protein pattern for the uh, finding out uh, the protein pattern you can uh, predict the protein pattern using the generative ai and uh, transformers so starting from 2017 to 2023 so in this 6 years it has come a large way and you can you all are using the chat gpt and generative ai chat gpt 2 3 4 So all these uh, chat GPT, GPT models they use make use of the uh, transformers. So in this manner presentation we will be discussing about the architecture of transformer as the topic is in the working of the transformer. We will be exploring the key components and that has been used in the transformers and uh, which has been used for the applications like machine translation, text translation, question answering. all these applications then <clears throat> introduction to transformer transformer that build upon the foundation of uh, neural ne network which are generally computational uh, models inspired by the structure of the human brain this uh, transformer uh, can handle uh, sequential data such as uh, text speech time series uh, data 
and particularly effective uh, for the language uh, translation, text summarization, and the question answering. That means you can ask a question and it will answer. Then you can ask the question answer uh, session. You can go on asking. You can go on modifying your text. Uh, suppose you ask the first question, then you are not satisfied with that. Then you can go on asking uh, similar questions or modified question on that. Then this conversation will go on, and the um, chat GPT will go on giving you answer as per your requirement. Then in the transformer, the basic technology that is used in transformer as compared to its uh, previous technology is the attention mechanism, attention mechanism and the self-attention mechanism. Mm, so the, what the uh, attention mechanism allows the model to focus on the relevant parts of the input sequence and ignore the relevant part of the information. Suppose you are the sequence of data is coming or sequence of text as they are, which are to be analyzed uh, by the system, by the model, then this attention mechanism will give attention, as the name says, it will give attention to the important words and it will try to ignore uh, the not important or which are the words which are having not so much importance on that sentence. As you know that um, when the text will come, it will come in the sentence form. Earlier, what you used to do is that uh, they will take word by word and they will convert that and they will try to find out what is the meaning of the sentence. But sentence is not a combination of words. Even if uh, words are there, the complete meaning of the sentence will come only when the complete sentence is analyzed uh, parallelly. Okay. And, uh, and generally, we have seen that uh, in languages, the words in a sentence will have different meaning as compared to the surrounding words. The words will have different meaning as compared to the uh, surrounding words. Suppose, for the example, server. Suppose um, server means who the, a server, the meaning of server can be a person who is solving you, maybe servant at your home. And the server may also be the computer server that you are using in our um, computing field. So the word is same and the meaning is different. And how the meaning will be different? So the meaning is different by its surrounding words. So what you need to do is the processing has to be parallel and we need the system, the model need to find out what is the meaning of, uh, what is the meaning, what is the contextual meaning of that word? It is not meaning of the word. It is the con contextual meaning of the word has to be found out. Then only the exact uh, meaning of the sentence can be interpreted and it can be handled effectively. <coughs> so we have some sentence and transformers are there. They are uh, built on the part. But is the bidirectional encoder representation from the transformers? It is a NLP model and uh, it's a deep learning model also. So in the bot, uh, every output element is connected to the every in input element. And the weightage between them is dynamically calculated based upon their uh, connections. So bot is a project of Google. They have developed it and they extend the transformer. Then the predecessor of the transformer is the recurrent network. The recurrent earlier, the recurrent neural network has been used. Nowadays, the transformers are used for, for advanced versions of the current networks. And we'll go to... Sir, uh, your slides are not changing. Can you click on the slide that you are presenting right now? Not changing. Yeah. One minute. Yes. Thank you. No, no, it is not on full screen mode. It is not working. <coughs> In full screen, you have to share the uh, entire window. But it's okay. You can uh, keep on uh, changing the slides here so that we can see. 
just a minute Now it is fine. Hello. Hello. Yes, yes. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. So actually, I have gone for uh, this slide to this slide. This in this slide, I have discussed about uh, a bit of uh, the generative AI, and in this slide, I have discussed about the history of. Uh, uh, Transformers, it started nearly at uh, 2017. Now it is going on a lot of development and applications of Transformers is going on in all the fields. It is not only used in natural language processing, um, but also it is used in uh, different, it, it is used in uh, biology and it is used in uh, non-text images also. So there are different applications of uh, Transformers as well there and it is going on <clears throat> increasing then we have discussed about uh, introduction about the transformers which is the building blocks of the neural network and the predecessor technology of the transformer is the neural network uh, then the main technology or the main uh, technology that uh, that enhances the performance of the transformer is the attention mechanism and uh, we are now we i was now discussing about the attention mechanism uh, how the attention uh, mechanism focuses on the relevant parts of the input sequence and ignore the irrelevant uh, information now I have the I was discussing that that how in a sentence a particular word uh, the meaning of that word will change according to its surrounding words. Then uh, I was uh, discussing. Now the slide is visible. Yeah, it's visible. Yeah, it's visible. Okay. So <clears throat> quickly, can we wrap up so that other the uh, I mean next panel up is ready for us to speak up. Ah uh, yes, yes. So uh, the transformer technology replaces the recurrent uh, network uh, technology that has been used since years. So from 2017-18, now the transformer has uh, taken over over the neural network, and uh, the inner working of the uh, transformer is based on uh, three things mainly: encoder and the decoder. And the block diagram of encoder decoder is uh, shown here in the right hand side. Encoding is what? Encoder is the process that the input uh, sequence, it processes the input sequence and convert it into a representation that captures this meaning and context. So the job of the encoder, it will receive the input and uh, the input can be represented and uh, what is its exact meaning? It has to be found out and in which context the text has been written that has to be encoded then the decoder decoder uses the encoded representation to generate the output sequence so the output of the encoder is fed to the decoder then the decoder will take the encoder's uh, output and it will generate the output sequence which can be a translation maybe a summary or any other type of um, output then as i have already told you the basic block of uh, transformer is the attention layers both the encoders and uh, decoders contain multiple attention layers, which are responsible for calculating the attention weights and applying them to the input uh, sequence. So the uh, how the recurrent uh, network and transformer is different because of these attention layers. 
so the uh, a series of attention layer is connected with both both encoders and uh, decoders and they will be calculating the attention weights and uh, they will be applying these attention weights uh, for the input sequence attention weights means what so some words in the sentence will have more attention and some words in the sentence will have <coughs> less attention uh, uh, less attention words are having less effect on the meaning of the sentence and uh, more weighted attention words are having more uh, effect on the meaning of the sentence in this way the attention layer will help to to extract uh, the uh, more valuable words and with uh, less valuable words valuable words means and the words who, whose meaning is uh, more and uh, prominent in the meaning of the whole sentence so the attention mechanism analyzes the input sequence and uh, calculate the attention weights of each word or token so when a sentence will come it will combination of different words so those different words are uh, converted to different tokens one word may be a one token but uh, one word one token may be a combination of few words so all those um, the sentence is converted into tokens then the tokens are given weights the weight is represent the importance of each word in the relation to the other words in the sequence this is the most important thing the weight represents the importance of each word in the relation to the other words in the sequence then the attention weights are used to compare the weight average of input sequence resulting in a contextual representation that captures the relationship between the words so when you give um, weights to the different words then this mechanism will help you to find out the weighted average of the input uh, sequence which will finally result in contextual representation of the input words that means what is the meaning of that with with, with respect to that context not only the exact meaning but in accordance with the surrounding words what will can be its meaning then uh, the transformer is having um, a few many processes the beginning process is the tokenization tokenization means what it is the process of breaking down the text into individual units of token these tokens are then converted into numerical representation so once the sentence is consist of different words they will be converted into different tokens and each token will be represented numerically so into numerical representation or embeddings embedding means numerical value will be assigned each uh, token then embedding words are vectors that represent the meaning of a word in a numerical way so that embedding words will be represented as a vector and those vectors represent the meaning of a word they capture the semantic relationship between the words okay so these uh, vectors will be representing the semantic relationship between words in a sentence then the contextual embedding transformers um, use contextual embedding which means that the embedding of a word can change depending on its context in the sentence so the embedding value the vector value the representation may change according to the according to the context in the sentence for that particular word the main points of the transformer architecture it has an encoder as already discussed and uh, the decoder the in the left hand side this encoder will take the input uh, sequence then it will be tokenized it will be divided into different tokens or words then they will be embedded embedded means um, numerical value will be given to each uh, token then they will go through multi head self attention so this uh, self attention will be implemented here so that uh, the word which is having more priority will be given more weight and the words having less uh, priority in the sentence will be given less weight then they will go to multi head self attention then that will be given to the uh, de decoder then the decoder will go through multiple uh, cycles it will take the previous output as the input then again it will go through the same process then the decoder finally will give you the output then how to how to train the transformers 
I will take only two three minutes. Uh, yeah. How to uh, how to train the transformers? So the uh, data processing goes like uh, this: the first step is to process the data, which involves uh, tokenizing the test and creating the embeddings. Means when the data will come, the data will be divided into different uh, tokens by combination of one word or more than one words, and they will be embedded with uh, numerical values. Then the model is trained by feeding it input sequence and the desired output sequence using that propagation to adjust the weight of the model. So back and then the propagation technology is used uh, for uh, training the model. Then it goes to optimization. The model's weights are optimized using a gradient descent algorithm to minimize the difference between the predicted output and the actual output. So the difference between predicted output and actual output uh, will be analyzed for optimization. So this is the one uh, transformer input is uh, there, encoder uh, and uh, decoder is there. The decoder will uh, take input the uh, pre-processing output and uh, finally after different cycles, it will give you the output. So the case study, transformer case study means in the GPT-3 nowadays, GPT-4 also. Each GPT, they make use of the you know, make use of the transformer behind the technology. GPT-3 is powerful uh, language model trained on a massive data set of uh, text. It, it can generate the code that you want. It is also used for translate uh, languages, write different kinds of creative content, and, and in it can also answer your question in an informative ways. GPT-3 is also used in uh, chatbots, virtual assistants, and other applications that require human-like conversation. So it can convert, it can continue the conversation one by one, man to man, like just a human being is. Other side, it can understand your language, it can understand your sequence, it can understand your humor also. And it can tell you a joke. A time will come that it will take you. A, it will tell you a joke. Uh, the uh, use of uh, transformers in the machine translation nowadays uh, it has been hundred more more than hundred languages has been supported. Transformer can handle translation between a vast number of languages. Ninety percent accuracy is there, and it is five ten faster than the previous technologies. The real world application is used everywhere nowadays. Used, uh, it is used in language translation, code generation, text summarization, image capturing. Chatbots are using it, sentiment analysis. These are the few fields. In biology, also, it is used. And then, what will be the impact and the future direction of uh, transformers? They have dramatically improved the natural language processing. The, Main application of transformer is in natural language processing along with all other uh, fields, achieving state of art as a result in translation, summarization, and question answering. Then the research, lot of research is uh, going on for uh, making advancement in the architecture of uh, transformers and how to um, improve the efficiency and uh, performance of the transformers. Again, the transformers will also be used for uh, both uh, NLP applications and personalized uh, chatbots may be there for advanced AI assistance. Thank you.